I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will solve a word problem and apply the strategy learn in this section. The question before us is a cell phone company is offering this plan $10 per month, 100 minutes free, 50 cents per minute after 100 minutes. What we need to do here is three things. First write an equation to represent the situation then how much will it cost to use cell phone for 20 hours and lastly about how many minutes can be purchased for $1.50 right. you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion let us first try to form an equation for the given condition it says a cell phone company is offering this plan $1.10 per month that is a fixed cost in which 100 minutes is included 100 minutes are free now for every additional minute that means more than 100 you need to pay 5 cents so that gives us the cost let us assess the cost then cost is equals to the fixed cost of 10 plus 50 cents that means 0 0.05 on every minute so let's say t is time in minutes minus 100 since 100 minutes are free right so what we have here is cost C in dollars right and we have time T in minutes these are our variables and that is how they are related so that forms an equation so the cost is 10 plus 0 0.05 times T minus 100 so that becomes the equation right so that is part A let's call this A so we got part A we'll do part B now part B is how much will it cost to use cell phone for 20 hours now this time T is in minutes so first step is convert 20 to 20 hours to minutes that is multiply by 60 right so we'll write this as 20 times 60 minutes right okay we can use this equation and say C equals to 10 plus 0 0.05 so I'll write time as 20 times 60 let me write 20 times 60 we'll use calculator minus 100 right and that is equal to let's calculate so 10 plus 0 0.05 within brackets 20 times 60 minus 100 bracket close equal to 65 so we get cost of 65 and that is our answer is cost equals to dollar 65 correct now let us do part C part C is about how many minutes can be purchased for dollar 50 that means we are given the cost here so cost given to us is 50 dollars we need to find time now to find time we need to rearrange or isolate the variable is that okay so we need to isolate T to find how much time can be purchased for fifty dollars right so how can we do that we'll follow our steps that is inverse operation right so 50 equals to 10 plus 5.05 times T minus 100 so first step is we'll take away 10 from each side so first step will be take away 10 from each side right so if you do that what do you get 50 minus 10 is 40 so we can write this as 50 minus 10 equals to 0 0.05 times t minus 100 right so that is 40 equals to 0 0.05 times t minus 100 so we get 40 equals to that much now from here how to solve for t we are saying 0 0.05 times that so if I divide both sides by 0 0.05 then we'll get what t minus 100 is right so let's take it to the right side and solve further so what we have here is we have 40 divided by 0 0.05 equals to 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.05 times 
t minus 100, right? So that is what we have, right? So let's divide 40 by 0 0.05. That gives us 800. So we have 800 equals to t minus 100. To get 100 time, we have to add 100 on both sides, right? So we can add 100 on both sides. So what we get here is 800 plus 100 equals to t, right? So that gives us t equals to 900 minutes. So this time is in minutes, right? So if you want, you can write time in hours also. So we have time t equals to 900 minutes. Or if I divide this by 60, I mean 900 divided by 60 will give us time in hours. Or t could be written as 900 divided by 60 hours, which is 15 hours, right? So that is how we can actually get the answer in minutes or in hours, right? So, so for part C, the answer will be 15 hours, right? So for $50, we could use this facility for 15 hours. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.